these were called the dark ages because human beings did terrible things to each other. In which yuga you are determines how much etheric body. They're still talking this is Kali Yuga, Kali Yuga because Krishna said it's Kali Yuga. But how we create the next step or how the next generations live is determined by us. Well, this whole thing is going on, that uh, at least in the news channels, they're still talking this is Kali Yuga, Kali Yuga, because Krishna said it's Kali Yuga. When 5,124 years ago, so since then, the cumulative aspect of Kali, which lasts for 2,592 years, is over. And Dwapara is also 2,592 years, that will get over sometime in 2082. That means another 58 years, is it? 58 years, nearly 60 years. If you live for another 60 years, you'll see Treta Yuga. This doesn't mean on one day it'll become Treta <laughs> See, when we say winter, it doesn't mean one fine day it's winter, it happens. Summer, it's not like one day suddenly it became summer, it slowly happens. So what you're calling as yugas is a kind of a larger season, larger scape of seasons. In these seasons, in winter, trees are one way, animals are another way, in spring they're another way, in summer they're another way. Similarly, life on this planet will be different ways in these different yugas because this is a super seasonal system. So Kali is a time when we are furthest end of the elliptical cycle. Because of that, there are many ways to look at it. One important thing is, see among the five bodies or the five layers of bodies that we carry, particularly with reference to human beings. The physical body are Annamaya Kosha, mental body are Manomaya Kosha, energy body are Pranamaya Kosha, and Vijnanamaya Kosha or the etheric body. The question is always about how much Annamaya Kosha do you have, how dominant is your Annamaya Kosha or how dominant is your Manomaya Kosha or how dominant is your etheric or Vijnanamaya Kosha, accordingly you will function. So these seasons in some way determine this. One can see in the four seasons that we see, a whole… in this country, in this at eleven degrees latitude, you may not notice it so much, but it is there. Only because they noticed it, Tamil Nadu has Margali Masam and Maga Masam, you know, I'm sorry, various other… Uh, across the country, Everybody recognized that month as a low-spirited month and so people are doing things to enhance themselves. But if you go to temperate countries, significantly different between winter situations and spring situations, phenomenal difference. You can't believe you're in the same world. If you go in the winter, like everything, everything looks like it's the end of the world. Spring comes, boom, everything is back. So. At least in this part of the hemisphere or the northern half of the hemisphere, it is like this. It is reversed in the southern hemisphere, but the same things happen. So similarly in the super cycle also the same thing happens. But in terms of human beings, whether your physical body is dominant or mental body is dominant, energetic body is dominant or etheric body is dominant, depends on where these regular yearly cycles are also like that to some extent, but the super cycle decides a lot more in which yuga you are determines how much etheric body. This does not mean it's a determining factor, absolutely. It is not an absolute, it is an influence. You can be in any yuga and be fantastic. You can be in any yuga and be a mess. This experience of uh, all this is not a question of you are being good or bad or you being… Uh, people are going about saying… See, the moment you have prejudice, 
about something, somebody becomes a sinner and somebody becomes a saint. How does this happen? You set some values. If somebody cannot live up to that, they are sinners. If somebody can live up to that, they are saints. But these values keep changing from geography to geography, age to age, time to time, they're changing. That's not the important thing. The important thing is we understand that as we sit here, we are who we are, we are as a consequence of what we are doing within ourselves. Now the question is only, is what we are doing within ourselves happening consciously or unconsciously? If we are doing it consciously, the consequence would be the way we want it. If we are doing it unconsciously, the consequence is random and the random consequence may be sometimes very painful, sometimes troublesome to you, largely to others. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> if you start acting crazy, you are troubled of course, but you may get extra attention. But others suffer a lot, people around you. <laughs> so, uh, these aspects are not absolutes, but this is the general influence. Well, during the Kali Yuga, which ended two thousand plus years ago, these were called the dark ages because human beings did terrible things to each other and not only did terrible things, they, they did large scale. That doesn't mean we did not do terrible things in Dvapara Yuga, we also did. But still, it is not the norm, at least we know it's wrong. That's a big difference. If you're doing something terrible, at least you know this is not the thing to do. You think that's the right thing to do, then uh, it's a different case because there's no room for correction. That will become the way of uh, the world itself, which is… which is what it was in the past. Many, many things that we think is impossible that human beings can do were normally done in the past and accepted as the right thing to do. So. We are just uh, close to Treta Yuga, we don't have to wait for it. See, it didn't wait, it's not yet summer, but already it's making us sweat. Why don't we also be one step ahead of times? Hello? So this is why it's very important. Whether the previous generations put the foundation for something or not, determines how much the next generation will build, isn't it? This goes for a house, this goes for a nation, this goes for your consciousness. How much foundation have people will build will determine how much the future generations will do. So this is where we are in terms of time. You may not see the glorious palace that will be built on top of it, but at least you made the foundations and maybe you built a mock room and enjoyed it also, a little bit of palace which we are beginning to in many ways. There are a whole lot of people going on propagating, life is getting worse day by day, life is getting worse day by day. But please look at it, how people lived here five hundred years ago, how we are living today, isn't everything better? Everything, especially ladies, you have to say big yes. yes. Because for women on this planet, Life has never been this good ever, all over the world. So, how we make the next step is in our hands. We are like this because somebody built something fundamental, so we have come to this place. But how we create the next step or how the next generations live is determined by us. So at a time like this, when I say at a time like this, when we are moving from one yuga to another, when the season is changing from winter to spring, we must be ready to blossom. Hello? In many ways, the times we are in are very significant because uh, 
I may not see it, I will not see it. But many of you young people will see it, that we are moving from Dwapara Yuga to Treta Yuga.